Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. 72 degrees. Water's nice and calm out there in the Gulf. Clear blue sky. No symptoms of red tide, no signs of the red tide. Absolutely wonderful today. There's our friend Roy out on the beach. It's beautiful sea oats right here. Just starting to open up and bloom. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful blues and greens out here. Look at that sky. Another Friday morning in paradise. Gorgeous. Looks like the rangers have done a great job on getting all the dead fish off the beach. Boy, that was a big, big job that they had on their hands. Like it's pretty low tide right now. Hey Roy, good. Yep. Some people have to work. Yeah. I wasn't out here Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, how you been doing? Good. good Keeping good. pretty busy with your work, huh? Yes, sirree. How about you? Oh, great. The old book is coming along good. I got it, got it all finished, and uh, San Sandy's going to be typing it up and getting it on the um, Internet so I can get it printed. I think I'm going to definitely get it printed. I got enough, enough um, subscribers sending in their 20 bucks. So, uh, so how big is it going to be? The book? Yeah. Well, I, I've got about um, 18 pages, but it's longhand. And so I don't know when it's typed up, how, you know. That's how, all, it, only 18 pages? Well, that's a, a quite a bunch of good. Well, wait a minute. There's 18 different categories. There you go. Yeah, D different types of categories. I don't remember how many pages. Somebody, a couple of people have been asking if you have a chapter in there with some advice for young people, for young, young graduates. <laughs> that's so long ago, I can't remember it. You don't, have, you don't have any advice for young people? Well, I, I suppose that, that would be You were be one of those. You were one of those at one time. I think I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking, you know, especially now, you said somebody bought some copies for their for their kids? Yeah, they, they got ordered three copies. They said they're going to send them to their kids, too. There you go. So, I mean, it'd be nice to have something in there for the... The younger generation. On, it's kind of a thought. I'll have you know, to dream about that a little bit. Dream on it. <laughs> Go. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of uh, probably more important to give them advice than the, the older people. Old, older people are kind of set in their ways. They're the ones. They've gone through it all. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's kind of a thought. Maybe I'll have to dream up a new chapter. I think that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, everything we talk about applies to all ages, but it's tough these days for well, young people. Well, when you're young, you're starting off in life. The whole world is ahead of you, and it, it's a big glory. It's a big, big challenge, really, when you're young. You've got so much to accomplish, you know, getting your education and mm -hmm. getting started in your occupation and, and getting, um, you know, a, a mate for life and all those things and the children and oh mackerel the children i mean <laughs> that's a big big deal 
Yeah, there is, and then there's, there's a, a lot when you joining think about in a society, you know. And yep. Wow, it's a big deal when you're young. It sure <laughs> is. It's a big undertaking. <laughs> so, I don't know if I've had any any thoughts for the young people though. All your thoughts are good. Yeah. It's kind of it's it's important, you know. It's it's guidance. <laughs> guidance. Well, How to take all your tips. I'll have to dream about and, that. And apply them, you know, to a younger generation and in 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 today's times. I mean, times have changed since we were kids. <laughs> there's a lot more obstacles out there. Well, so. maybe there's more opportunity to obstacles well, there is. and opportunities. There's a lot more opportunities. I would think so. And the whole uh, whole computer world, I mean, it's drawing everything together. I mean, the, the world is is getting more integrated with this uh, goofy computer thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's your good friend. Yeah, you can get involved with everything with a computer. It's just absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting pretty uh, good with the computer now, aren't you? Well, not really. I got a... Um, uh, Linda's coming over this afternoon to help me set up that PayPal Oh, you got to do that? All right, I was yeah. going to see what you wanted to do about that. Yeah, I, mean, I got opened a bank account, so now I can set up the PayPal. And well, that's going to be good, because I make sure she sets you up with a PayPal email. And that would be like Roy, yeah. or PayPal, or something like that, because that's what we need to let everybody know. That's, Isn't it the same as my other email, or no, should it be a be new a different email? email? Much shorter email. And, easier to use. You use the, your email to open the PayPal, but then you have another one that people send the money to. It makes it real easy. So if this Linda knows what she's doing, she'll be able to do that real easy. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, it's, I thought it was my other regular email. That's what you use to set your account up, yes. But then people use a different one to send the money to. It's a much well, shorter, easier she'll one. she'll work all that out. Yeah. I mean, it's not hard. It only takes less than 10 minutes to set yeah. an account. Yeah, then they just put money in. They're going to make a deposit in your account to make sure it's a legitimate bank account. And you have to respond to them and tell them how much of a deposit they put in so they yeah. know it's your bank account. And after that, that's it. You good, just, the good. The money comes in and you just transfer it automatically into your new bank account. Well, I'm excited. I, I think it's going to be great. so much the money. I'm excited about uh, if people really uh, appreciate the book and, and get something out of it. That's what's important. So I'm, I'm really um, I'm really pleased and excited about that, that enough people that want to subscribe. And well, I'm sure there'll be some checks in the mail when you get home this afternoon. Hopefully they'll, they'll get something out of the book because... Uh, I kind of incorporated all those thoughts that you that you made me con <laughs> conned out of me all those for all those years. <laughs> uh, so it's a good time, Rob. I appreciate. It. Oh, well, I think I left you a message. I got uh, one one of the letters I got with the yeah, I heard the that. check. They were very complimentary to you, and they they said to be sure and tell Rob how much we appreciate his his program and how much we got out of it and et cetera, et cetera. So you got a lot of good compliments. Well, that's good. Yeah. There you go. I love that. <laughs> well, without you and this whole whole thing, I wouldn't, my book, would nobody know about it. So it's really promoting <laughs> well, I wanna, the book. Yeah, we'll, talk, we'll get together here in a little bit and shit. The flies are bothering me here. You know, the flies aren't bothering you right here? Well, they come out all of a sudden. That's it's amazing. The, I'm yeah. guessing it's from the fish they buried. Yeah, all along uh, the beach, uh, all the dead Yeah, they fish. did clean them up pretty well. Yeah, the beach is clean. It's pretty nice. Yeah, they did a good job picking them up. Yeah. But um, we'll get together and chit-chat here a little more about the book after my walk. Find something to talk about. Yeah, if anybody wants to subscribe, just send me 20 bucks at 718 95th Avenue North, Thanks. Naples, Florida, 34108. Now, after I get the book printed up, I, I think we're definitely going to go to the printers. I got but you already money. reached the first, you already reached 25, so there's no more of those other little booklets. <laughs> You're all out of those. Don't well, forget, the first no, 25 I, people got those. No, I, was it the first 25? Yep. Yeah, I might expand that a little bit, because uh, uh, I found some more of those booklets at home, that, uh, so I'll send them to maybe... Maybe the first 50 if I can dig up an extra 25 of them. 
Oh, okay. And don't forget, you they all get a nice little message from you in there, too. That's the big bonus for those first 50. Well, I don't know what message I'll send. I You're going to, well, I, make it a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> An autograph there. The first 50 are all autographed, that's for sure. That's the idea. Gosh, I'll get writer's cramp on yeah. 50 books. <laughs> make sure people, when you order, if you send a check, make sure you include your phone number, too. In case, just in case something happens. So oh, that helps. Yeah, I got phone numbers and I got, got yeah. to keep their addresses. And what I thought I'd do is hang on to the addresses, and then seven years when I, when I get to be over a hundred, why well, I'll, I'll send them all a note, and uh, maybe I'll write a sequel. And, well, they all get a birthday <laughs> party invitation. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, won't we have a birthday on the beach? Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. That'll be a doozer. That big 100. <laughs> and we're gonna I know the 95th was quite quite a whoop de doo occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Only uh, The 95th? You, you're not 95 yet. Slow Wasn't down. 90, well, what, <laughs> no, no, it was 90. 90, I guess. It was something. It was some occasion here. Oh, on the you had a... Oh, yeah, oh, remember nice remember one. the truck that was bringing all the candles for the cake? <laughs> the truck was so huge to carry all the candles, they couldn't get into the park entrance. I know. That was something. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't get candles they had to on lift, the cake. lift it off with a big crane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roy. <laughs> That's a lot of candles. Maybe for my hundredth, we'll get one of those cakes where there's a, a girl inside the cake and she whoops oh, out. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at your face. Didn't they have a goofy movie for oh, that? Yeah. yeah, there was something. Oh, yeah. It. The girl in the birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, I can't wait. Life is stuff. fun no matter what, that's for sure. It is. Well, go finish taking your walk, and I'll connect with you here in a little bit, all right? Hey, I look forward to all it, All right, Rob. Roy. Always good seeing you in Maybe the morning. I'll, I'll yep. try to think up some thoughts for the young people. The young that's ones, yes, the younger idea. generation. It's so long ago, I'll have to do a lot of... A lot of looking back. Well, think about, you know, how it was when you were that age and how it is for the Yeah, the, and then the there's the, mi the military, the whole thing, you know, that's all. Yeah. I don't know if these days if, they, if they're if they supposed to enlist in the military. I suppose they don't have well, a draft anymore. No more draft, but it's not a bad thing to do if you're, you know, if you don't have any very direction. Worthwhile. I mean, if you don't have a, you know, your heart set on a career. A lot of kids get out of school and they don't know where they're going yet. So the military is a good option. Always is. And then they get their college paid for by the military. Yeah. I mean, it's a... Yeah, yeah it's, it's a worthwhile endeavor. You learn quite a bit in the military. Yeah. You learn discipline, which is a, a big thing. Maybe yeah, I should have a chapter called Discipline. Discipline? You don't have discipline in there? Discipline. The old hickory stick? The hickory switch. <laughs> Remember that song? Reading and writing and arithmetic taught to the tune of the hickory stick. <laughs> you were my girl in calico. I was your bashful barefoot bow. I wrote on your slate, I love you so. When we were a couple of kids. <laughs> I never heard that one before. That <laughs> really? was the first for me. <laughs> See, every every time I talk to you, I learn something new. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that. Huh? Well, nope. You're not old enough. That is funny. <laughs> well, I'll catch up with you here in a bit. All right. Okay, Rob. Oh, you're back to bare feet again, huh? Yeah, yeah. I saw the doctor. He said it was okay. Yes. All healed up, and well, I watch took a, out. Took a swim yesterday too. So. All right. How's that red tide? Seems to be all right. Yeah, huh? that's seems not, to, not bad at all. Seems no. to have gone away finally. Hopefully. Yeah. Man, that was bad. Yeah, that was. I almost threw up <laughs> last <laughs> Monday, I think. Bothered my eyes. Yeah. A lot of people didn't seem to bother their eyes. It really made my eyes itchy. I have a friend of mine. He got really sick from it. He wound up getting bronchitis from it. Oh, really? Yeah. He yeah, lives right. Kind of he, lives, cough. he lives right back here in the condo, right back here yeah. behind the park. And yeah. He got really sick. He finally, I finally took him. I, t I had to take him to the urgent care yesterday. Yeah. He gave in and went to see the oh doctor. Oh boy! Oh boy! It was bad. Too bad. So hopefully it's gone. Yeah. Now yeah. we got it's. Now we got the place to ourselves again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's glorious down here. All we need it? are some dolphins now. Yeah. 
Have you seen any? Yeah, the no. The past couple no. days, no? No, one of this runner guy said he saw us in yesterday kind of whacking its tail and milling around a couple of them, so that was good. I haven't seen any for quite a few days. Wow. Well, maybe today will be the day. I Friday. think so. Today is the day for everything. Lucky Friday. It's a wonderful <laughs> day. All right. Be careful. Don't step on any dead fish. <laughs> There's not many be, out here. I'm going to be careful I saw a couple little that. tiny ones. They got all the big ones. Yeah. All right, Roy. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Take care. Wonderful seeing you. Yep. I'm going to pass you up here and go down here a little ways. See if there's anything, any, see if I can beat you to the gold doubloons on the beach. Oh, that song started out, I remember now, school days. School days? School days. Oh, yeah. School days, dear old golden rule days. That was it. Yeah. I remember that now. Yeah. I don't think I ever sang it, but I, I think I remember my you parents. You didn't go to school, didn't you? No, I didn't go to school. Oh. No. I just hung out on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little while. What a beautiful Friday here. Look at that sky. A little smoky, a little smoke in the air. Absolutely gorgeous, though. I'm just going to walk down the beach a little ways here, then turn around and walk up towards Wiggins Pass. See what we can find. See what shells are on the beach or maybe some marine life. You just never know what we're gonna come across here. Every morning is different. The one thing every morning has in common is it's beautiful out here. No matter what we find or what the weather. It's a blessing to be able to come out here and take a walk in the morning. Oh, Roy's behind me singing up a storm. Hamming it up. A lot of little shells along the beach here, but Nothing's catching my eye yet. The park rangers and volunteers, they have done a great job of picking up all the dead fish. The beach is pretty darn clean now, thankfully. water is just absolutely gorgeous. Nice and clear. Look at that. Beautiful out here this morning. I'm gonna just walk a little further down the beach. Lots and lots of little shells along here, but there's nothing really jumping out at me yet. This is just like a pile of little crushed shells here. Isn't that something? Look at that. All those little pieces of shell. We have almost, we almost have the place to ourselves this morning. We a handful of people out here.
loving the serenity of the morning. Let's look along this little ridge line here. Anything? There's an olive shell down here. Nice little olive shell. Those are pretty cool. What else do we have? A little piece of finger coral. Lots of little pieces of finger coral on the beach. There's a big piece of finger coral, a fat finger. That's a nice one there. Nice big piece of finger coral, nice big chunk. What do you got there, Rob? This coral, lots of coral on the beach. Oh. Always find coral, which is not good. That means the coral reef is dying. When you find the broken coral. I didn't know we had a coral reef. Yep, so it parallels this whole beach almost. Really? Yep. I've never seen it, they're just sandbars. Well, you haven't got, you have to go out a little further. There's two reefs out here. There's a, right? there's a man-made one and a coral reef, yep. Yeah. A man-made reef? Yep. Where was that? From the chunks of concrete mean? and stuff that they dumped out there, yep. Is that right? Yep. And then there's a hard bottom coral reef out here. It's I thought it was just sandbars all the way out. Nope. Nope. There's a reef out there. You, you see people out there diving a lot. It's out past those past those markers. Oh be dive. They dumped concrete in? Yeah. Well you hit, man, a long, long time ago. Why'd they do that? To make a reef. You give the fish a home. <laughs> they do that all over the, all around the world. They build reefs to replace uh, the darn ones that are dying. And then the uh, reefs build automatically. I mean, why do we have to build a reef? Nope, we've killed the reefs. <laughs> the reefs have died. That's what's happening here. That's why you see these pieces of coral. The darn the coral's dying. Because old man goes swimming. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Pollution. Uh. Just like the red tide. That disgusting red tide. But look how clear that is this morning. Isn't that, beautiful? that water is just absolutely beautiful this morning. You can see the fish swirling around out here. It's getting really warm too. Really? Well, every every day it's getting warmer. <laughs> That's for sure. May. May. Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. The fifth of May. Tomorrow's the Kentucky Derby. Really? Yep. Oh boy. Gotta watch that. <laughs> That'll be on the boob tube, I imagine. Oh yeah, all over, yep. I think it runs a little after 6 p.m. Six hour time? Yep. I'll have to watch that. Oh yeah. That's always a big celebration, a big event. Yeah, that'll be a big deal. Oh, that'll be one. Remember we want to see the dog races? <laughs> I didn't go Was see that? him. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess you must have went with Jennifer. Uh, I never, never been, and I hear they were going to take away that track, and so yeah, I yep. figured I should go at least one time and see dog races. And uh, huh. yeah, there was kind of a bomb out, but oh I, yeah, I'm glad I went. I mean, for one time in your life, it's nice. You didn't to see like it. it? Well, it was okay, but it's not like horse races. It's over with so fast. It's yep. just zip zap and it's done. Well, yeah, they're like miniature horses. <laughs> 
Well, usually the horse races kind of last a little more, a little longer, I think. Seems that yeah, way. not much longer, but yeah. Maybe it's because the dogs are so much smaller. I mean, I I like seeing them, and those greyhounds are amazing dogs. Yep. And boy, how they run is just unbelievable. Isn't it? <laughs> they fight there to get on the inside. That's yeah. something. No. Well, that was interesting, but not like horse racing. I wish we had a horse track here. I like to see horses run. Yeah. That's a, that's a glorious thing. I don't know what they're doing with all that stuff, but the rumor has it that the dog track's going to be disappearing here. Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, all right, let me get back to the beach walk here, and then I'll let you steal the show. Oh, I don't want I'll let to you steal the show in a little while. We'll chat some more. You can talk about your book some more. Tell us what all's in there. Oh, I got some good chapters. Nice little line of shells here. Oh. I got a chapter. <laughs> There's a nice little, look at that. There's a great kitten's paw. Beautiful little kitten's paw. Oh, kitten's paw, huh? Yeah. That's a nice one there. Yeah. All right. I'll hook up, connect with you here on the way back, Roy. Good show. Don't step on any fish. Be careful. Oh, not that I have not seen any. I saw a couple little tiny ones. They picked them all up. Yeah. They they, good job. Looks like the beach is nice and clean finally. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> no red tide. I'll see you back up the beach. All right, all right. I gotta walk out into this water. It is so beautiful out here this morning. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Just some little tiny waves lapping on the shore. Absolute paradise here this morning. Just a little breeze. Love it out here. Hardly anybody out here this morning. so calm out here in the Gulf. This is like the perfect time to see a dolphin. The sun's out shining, beautiful colors. The water's nice and calm. They're really easy to spot. It would be so nice to see a dolphin swim by here this morning. A dolphin or two or three or four. <laughs> down here of interest. Hmm. I believe the tide's still on its way out here. Still going out. So tomorrow, Cinco de Mayo and Kentucky Derby Day. Two big events. If you're here in Naples, they're having a huge party at Felipe's up in North Naples. It's up by the Burlington, uh, used to be called Burlington Coke Factory or wherever. Now it's just called Burlington Outlet up in North Naples and that they're gonna put a stage out in the parking lot and some big food tents. There's gonna be five bands there tomorrow. It starts at 11 and goes, I think it goes till 1 a.m. in the morning. But we're gonna have a booth there, nonstop Naples. We'll be out there. So come on out and say hi.
I'll share the event link a little later this morning so you can read up on it. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. Cinco de Mayo at Felipe's up in North Naples. Be sure to check out Nonstop Naples on Facebook, Nonstop Naples. There you'll find some fun things to do in town. Can't get over how clear this water is. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Lots and lots of little fish swimming around. There, you can't really see them in the live feed. They're really small. Little pinfish, little bait fish swimming around. Some bigger ones jumping a little further out. The water temperatures 83, according to the sign at the front entrance, 83 degrees. Amazing. That is warm. The water is just below my knees out here. Oh, here's a crab. Here's a crab. See him down there? Running by me. <laughs> Boy, he just did a circle around me. <laughs> Good to see some life out here after that red tide. That's cool. Beautiful out here. Look at that water. to ourselves. This is Area 4 Beach at Del Norwegans Pass up in North Naples. This is the Gulf of Mexico. There's a couple ladies walking up the beach. And there's Roy over there. Maybe he'll get a hug from those two gals. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep walking along the shore here. I mean about, oh, 15 inches of water right now here. I was hoping to see something interesting out here. Maybe some sea stars or some sand dollars. The one thing I'm not seeing is red tide. Thank goodness for that. This 
Beautiful clear water right now. Stop and take a quick picture, bear with me. Hang in there for a minute while I take a few photos. Beautiful out here, Roy. Beautiful. Isn't that something? Oh, we got down here a turkey wing shell in the water. Let's see. Yep, there's a turkey wing shell. Fairly common, the turkey wings. Water's about, oh, 16 inches deep here. Nice and clear, look at that. Oh, there's a bunch of, looks like sheephead over here in front of me. They skedaddled away from me, but there's a school of sheephead just out here in front of me. Very hard to see in the camera. They're right out in here. There's probably about 10 of them. That's one of the common fish here, sheephead, and the drum, pompano, snook, mullet, snapper, catfish. There's a variety of fish here to be caught. Just keep in mind, if you do come here to, to go fishing, you want to go all the way up to the north end of the park, all the way up to the end of Wiggins Pass. It's the only place you're allowed to fish. It's gorgeous out here this morning. The tide is still going out. A lot of times, little fish and things will get caught in these little tidal pools as the tide goes out. I don't see anything. Oh, here's our friend Scott and Linda. Scott and Linda are down there. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, howdy, neighbor. Howdy. <laughs> Scott and Linda Magyar. It is so cool, the friendships that have been made here on this Facebook page. Be sure to introduce yourself to everybody. Let them know where you're watching from. That's what this is all about. Nice little white scallop shell. A little off-white, kind of an ivory color scallop shell. Yeah, feel free to carry on a conversation here with anyone you see fit you want to talk to there. That's what this is all about. I'm just providing the background. It's 
can't get over how beautiful this water is this morning. We have had a month, a month of red tide and just terrible, terrible colored water. Now look at it. It almost just cleaned itself up overnight. I connect with Roy here, I have another little chat with him. At the end of my beach walk. There's a little lone sandpiper. our osprey nest on the top of the tree there see it up there right in the center of the screen we do have a mating pair of osprey up there I have no idea if there's eggs there or if there are I have no idea when they'll hatch I do know they are definitely a mating pair <laughs> I know that for a fact that's up at the north end of the park up at the north end of area 4 Not a lot of shells on the beach here this morning. A lot of small broken shells. But I'll take it. Anything's better than that nasty red tide. Look off in the distance, you can see one of the dredging barges. They're dredging out Wiggins Pass. Hurricane Irma really wreaked havoc around here. That was back in September. And there's still cleanup work to be done from Hurricane Irma and we're rapidly approaching hurricane season again. Forecasters are saying this season might be worse than last. Keep your fingers crossed, say your prayers. What do we have down here? A mossy arc or a turkey wing? Looks like a turkey wing. Yep, another big turkey wing shell. You can see there's lots of little shells along here. Very, very, very small shells. a little line of them right along the water line but nothing's really catching my eye here yet I'm really just thrilled to have the beautiful clear water back A little black scallop shell, those are always neat to look at. There's a, before I show you that, there's a little piece of a moon shell. There's the eye of a shark eye or moon shell, just the very top of it. It's broken off. It's pretty cool. Those are beautiful shells. Come in some really interesting colors, the moon shells. There's that black scallop shell. Those are pretty. That's a little one. You can find the scallops in lots of different colors and sizes. A 
worm tips. Let's see if we can find a worm tip here. I haven't seen any of those this morning. Haven't seen any conch shells, any little Florida fighting conch shells or worm tips. Any worm rock. It's so peaceful out here this morning. Only a handful of people out here. Perfect skies. Look at that beautiful blue sky this morning. Couldn't ask for a nicer morning. And yet we do have nicer mornings than this. <laughs> Hard to imagine. Give you a look back down the beach here, out into the Gulf and down the beach. Enjoy those beautiful colors there. A mile of white sandy beach here at Del Norwegans. No homes or condos. All natural. Mother Nature just takes her course here. The beach is always changing shape and size. You can see if you look up here, the erosion that we've had. See that big ledge there? But the beach is, the beach here just comes and goes. Hurricane Irma dumped a lot of sand on the beach and then we had some storms afterwards that washed it away. There's a nice little scallop. Kind of a yellowish color scallop. There's a couple dead fish over here. But all in all, the rangers did a really great job cleaning the beaches up. The rangers and the volunteers, hats off to them. Ooh, there's a really nice scallop here. Oh, it's chipped. Oh, still beautiful. That's a big one. Wow. That would have been a beauty. It's got a big chip on the side there. Hmm. Surprised I'm not finding more shells here. Even though there's not big shells here, there's usually some nice little ones. Definitely paradise out here, no two ways about it.
Sorry about that. I had to, just took a quick photo. There's a fighting conch. It's an older fighting conch shell. It's pretty well, it's pretty worn out. An old Florida fighting conch. That's a really old one there. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Great. Well, I always show our viewers a slipper shell while I'm taking a walk here. So let's grab a slipper. They're very common, the slipper shells. There's one there. Let's see if I can find a bigger one. Now, this is a little one. This will work. There's another slipper. A little, yeah. Very common, the slipper shells. Slipper, just like a bedroom slipper. And you'll see when you turn it over, why it's called a slipper shell. See how it looks like a little slipper when you turn it over? The slipper shell. go a little further up the beach then turn around and head back and have another little chat with Roy I'm trying to get him to add a little more to his book Ooh, that wind's really kicking in there's a nice little cockle shell little baby cockle shell Lots of slipper shells right here. There's a slipper shell right there. There's one there, there's one there. Lots of slippers. Looks like part of a little moon shell down here. Another piece of a moon shell, piece of a shark eye. Boy, that would have been a beauty. There's the eye right there. It's just a piece of broken moon shell. These are one of my favorites here. The whelks, the moon shells. They're all beautiful. The murex shells. The scallops. Pretty big little, a big little scallop shell. How about that? That's a nice little scallop. There's a little kitten's paw, another little kitten's paw. I'm gonna rinse the sand off that and keep that one. Hang on. There's a little kitten's paw. And there's a little baby cockle shell over here. Come on, focus. And the camera's having a hard time focusing there. Come on. There it goes. A little baby cockle shell. What else did I see? I thought I saw a little baby. Mossy Ark. There's a little Mossy Ark. Lots of great little shells out here this morning. There's another little cockle here right over there. A little cockle shell.
Hey, thanks for watching this morning. Be sure to tell your friends at Southwest Florida Television. Here's the top of a conch shell over here. Just the very top of a Florida fighting conch. See there the point. That's pretty cool. part of a worm shell over here. Just a little piece of worm shell. A little tiny piece. I haven't seen a lot of worm tips out here. There's one worm tip, the tip of the worm shell. Picture those two pieces connected. You can find these every once in a while pretty long, these worm shells. 10, maybe 12 inches, but they're very fragile, so you usually find them broken. You find pieces of them. As our park ranger, our four-wheeler, rolling down the beach. There's a broken cockle, a big cockle. What's left of a big cockle shell. Mark, how you guys doing today? Well, another beautiful little scallop. We've seen some nice scallop shells this morning. That's our this group of people, one of them is our assistant park manager here, They're getting ready to head out on their paddle boards. Well, there's a nice olive shell over here. Thought it was a nice olive. It's got a hole in it. I saw it had its. I thought it had its top. This might. Maybe we'll stick this on the shell tree real quick. The olive shell. Another nice little scallop shell down here. That looks like a tough job you got this morning. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you get ready for what, the what are you guys putting out there? Uh, uh, swim buoys. More new buoys? Yeah. Uh, Still have to replace these from the hurricane. These are right. Yeah, you got to get the buoy. Here, Sarah, come hold it. So you see we got these buoys, they're taking off the trailer here and they just put those out and boats aren't supposed to come in to shore. They're supposed to remain out behind the buoys and we lost quite a few of them during the hurricane. So they're gonna go out and drop a couple more out here, some new ones. That's pretty cool. further and turn around I got to get off the beach got to go check in with Roy and head on out of here these beach walks always wind up going longer than I expected this is the north end of the park here the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park I'm just gonna hang this olive shell that I picked up hopefully I'll find a little branch I can stick it on 
on one of our shell trees here. I enjoy doing that just for our friends that can't come out to the beach and hang a shell. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna stay. Let me get a little higher branch. Mm. This one's a tough one. I'm just gonna stick it here on branch. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll hold on there. We'll see. There you go. For those of you that can't make it to the beach, there's an olive shell. Let's head back down. See Roy one more time on this beautiful Friday. Beautiful Friday morning. It's gorgeous out here. See the dredge barge out there? The colors are spectacular this morning. There's Mark out there, sinking the buoy. Sinking the weight for the buoy. of a shark eye down here it looks like maybe no nope slipper there's some worm tips wormy tips they get nicknamed the tips of the worm shell we've gotten the nickname wormy tips oops there's a couple of them three of them three worm tips There's a piece of a big lightning well, just the side of one. Wow, that would have been a great shell. Just amazed, amazed at the color of the water this morning. Look at that. What a difference. So beautiful compared to that ugly red tide we've been having. Ah, here's an old crown conch. Look at that. Beautiful shells, the crown conchs. This one's all worn. The crowns are beautiful shells. The crown conch. <laughs> Here's a little tiny, tiny Florida fighting conch. A little baby Florida fighting conch. That's a little one there. Beautiful colors on it though. Come on, focus. Beautiful shell. That's just a little tiny one, little baby. You just slow down, take your time. You'll find lots of neat little shells. Everybody's always looking for the big giant monsters, but there's lots of little beauties along here.
What a gorgeous day. What a way to go into the weekend, huh? Absolutely beautiful. Just loving this water. Just beautiful. Let's see two of our Facebook friends up here. Scott and Linda Magyar. We'll go up and say hi to them real quick. And then stop and say goodbye to Roy. There's a nice little cockle shell right there. Get the sand off this guy. It's a nice little cockle. It's about a, that's a medium sized cockle shell. Beautiful. Hey, good morning. I've seen a lot of fish swimming around offshore here. I've seen a lot of sheephead. There's a school of them just off offshore here. Very hard to see in the camera, and I can't get close to them. They take off as soon as I get near them, obviously. There's our friends Scott and Linda. Looking for some shark's teeth, I bet. Looking for some shark's teeth? <laughs> find any? No. No? I'll find one before you know. <laughs> you gonna beat me to no, it? You and I are gonna go out one morning off camera, and we're gonna go look. Oh up. no, we're gonna, do, we're gonna I want to get a big line of people, and we'll just walk the beach. We need to. There's so much space to cover. I'm telling you. So I was you following your trip back. Oof. <laughs> that was a long one. Yeah. Long drive. Well, here you are. Yeah. Trip with the cat in the car. That uh, yeah. Yeah. He wasn't. Mad. He didn't look happy. No. 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 But he made it all right. He's, happy He's good. Yeah. We just give our dogs a little Benadryl and. That's well, we were going to do that, but we forgot to grab Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. We oh, welcome Benadryl. back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yep. Thank you. See you around, yep. Oh, yeah, we'll be seeing you. Scott and Linda Magyar. Great people. A lot of great people here in our group following along, commenting back and forth. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group. That's what this is all about. I just provide a platform for everybody to meet and greet. It's our own little social meeting room right here at the beach. Our virtual social meeting group. <laughs> it's pretty nice, huh? You can come to the beach in the morning, no matter where you live. That water is just incredible. Look at that. If you've been watching for the past month, you know it's been pretty ugly because of the red tide. Now it's gorgeous. Where did Roy go? He must be up under the tree. I'm gonna go say goodbye to Roy. And I've got work to do this morning. For those of you that don't know, I have a video production company. That's what I do for a living. So if you're in Southwest Florida and you hear of anybody that needs a video for their company, their business, their product, they need a training video for their employees, that's what I do. I don't do weddings or events. 
all commercial video production. So please, if you know of anyone or if you have a business and you need a video or videos for social media, get in touch with me. Social media definitely works, that's for sure. I gotta get up here and check out what check what time it is with Roy. He says he finished his book, but I think I convinced him to add a few more pages here. Want him to beef it up some. I know somebody had asked if he had any tips for young graduates, so he's thinking about maybe adding a little bit about that. Hey Rob, how you doing? Well Daddy O, I'm doing. What time is it here? Oh, well, it's uh, 8.52. Oh boy, getting late already again, goodness. So, did any, did any words of wisdom come to you in your walk this morning? No, I, I, the words of wisdom are all incorporated in my book. You're out of words of wisdom? <laughs> You'll never run out. Well, I hadn't really thought about wisdom. I was thinking about, thinking about my book and, um, uh, and uh, kind of excited about that. I think it's going to be um, interesting and mm. worthwhile. Well, we're going to we're going to find out <laughs> as soon as if people get their orders fulfilled. Well, if they want to send their twenty bucks to to Roy T. Hazy at yep, we got seven seven one eight ninety fifth <laughs> Avenue North, Naples, Florida three four one zero eight. That's what it takes. So, there you go. Well, they're going to be able to just. Put their credit card in on paypal here and yeah tell me about paypal now uh, well, this uh, girl linda who was going to set that up said she didn't know you needed a different uh, email address uh, well then obviously she doesn't know how to use paypal maybe you... paypal gives you an email address that you send out to people can i can i formulate it or yeah, well I... if linda knows what she's doing is it linda that we just saw here yeah linda yeah. magyar she'll yeah. know what she's doing She'll well, explain she it to you. I, said, I'm not going to. She said don't hers talk is about the same here. as her regular email. Well, don't do that. There's a much easier way to do it. Maybe, maybe, maybe she'll, she isn't. Yeah, there's. She'll figure. She'll figure it. Out. I'll talk to her about it. Don't worry about it. That's um. Did you want to come over and do it or something? No, or I have to work. Time for I that. mean, I, yeah. I could, I could do it later. You know, sometime later. But just tell her that you want to use the PayPal. You set it up with your email, and then you can, PayPal will give you a much easier email for people to use. It could be, it could be just Roy, if, if it's, I mean. That's what I'm wondering, one. if I need that dot .com and dot .net and all no, that sort of business. No, 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 no. Can no. just be Roy? It, PayPal mm -hmm. will figure it out. She'll figure it out. Don't, it's, it's, it's just called reading. All you have to do is read. It takes 10 minutes to set up an account or oh, less. So you read the instructions. Just read it, yeah. Okay. Don't, there's an option to using your email. You don't want to be using your own personal email for everything. Okay, yeah, I'd prefer you'll be getting, not to. You'll be getting crazy, crazy things happening. <laughs> yeah, I just, so I just do Roy, just my name. And no, then. you're gonna set it up, but Linda can help you figure that out. Don't worry about it. Okay. You just learn how to turn the computer on and off without opening up the wrong page. <laughs> <laughs> For now. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll work on that. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't have a chapter. I don't have a chapter on computers. <laughs> yeah. I, I want you to know that. <laughs> no chapter. I left, I left that one out. You don't have any, <laughs> any advice for people on how to use a computer? Love your computer. That's my word of the day. Don't punch out your computer. <laughs> Love your computer. It's an, <laughs> an amazing device if you can figure out how to use it. There are a lot of computers that get hit and thrown out the window. Oh, on really? The floor. Oh, I'm sh yeah. <laughs> People I've, get frustrated I've, I've with their computers. I had that impulse, but I, <laughs> I controlled myself. In fact, one of my chapters is on anger. There you go. That's one of the more important chapters in the <laughs> devastating effect of anger and how to, how to relieve your anger. I've got there some you go. little tips about that. So I've Without got, hurting anybody, <laughs> right? <laughs> little tips about how to how to well, those are good. Anger. Your, your anger. So, anger is important. 
So I've got some thoughts for the day in the book, and I got a chapter on conduct. Conduct. Conduct, yeah, and, and uh, love, forgiveness, and uh, and uh, oh, beauty. Not a chapter on beauty. Yeah, beauty, the beauty of life, and the glorious, wonderful life we're having, and positive thinking. Well, that's prayer. Prayer. Got a chapter about prayer, positive thinking, kindness. You have one on kindness? Well, that uh, ties in with, I think I do, as a matter of fact. Kindness, consideration, conduct covers quite a... Conduct's a big one. Yeah. That positive That's a book in itself. Positive thinking. Yeah. So a lot of an accidents. I got a big about big chapter on accidents. About so you talk about, talk about throw rugs? Yeah, I did. Throw, <laughs> throw out the throw rugs before they throw you. Definitely, oh, that's yeah. A good that's, one. that's my little saying there, and <laughs> about the about the little rumple in the carpet, and uh, oh, Mary ended up in the hospital with broken, I don't know, everything. Oh. And while she was there, six other people were in the hospital, uh, stumbling on a, a rumple in the rug too. Really? More people have stumbled on rumples and rugs. <laughs> <laughs> so rumples. you decided to write a chapter in the book about it. <laughs> Rug rumples. Well, that Rug ties rumples. into accidents. <laughs> so is driving in there? Oh, yeah, I yeah. A lot of people need car. some tips oh, on yeah. driving. There's a lot about automobiles. <laughs> Talk about dangers. Whew. It's so commonplace that we don't think about the unbelievable danger. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds exciting. Looking forward to seeing it. Well, it's been a, it's been a, a pleasure writing it, really, and you're the one who kind of <laughs> talked me into it, really, because you're always asking me for some word of the day, and I figured, well, I'd compile them. <laughs> well, what was you gave us a word? I forgot what it was already for the day. What'd you give us? You just gave us one a few minutes ago. Yeah, was it tied in a conduct? What the heck was it? I forgot already. I even got a chapter on intuitions. How about forgetfulness? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll leave that one out. <laughs> That's too close to home. <laughs> but intuitions are interesting things, too. Oh, absolutely. I think intuitions are little nudgings from God, if you want to know the truth. Well, so, you're right. they, they absolutely could be. Yeah. A lot, a lot of my book is, is a spirituality, because everything ultimately all comes back to to God and the creation and the, right. you know, it's, it's, it all ties into that really. So it does. the book is a kind of a, a little a spiritual thing really, which I think is yeah. important. I know is important. I have a chapter on prayer, like I said. Mm -hmm. So well, I'm sure people are going to be happy. Well, if they just send me 20 bucks. You and you send me 20 seven, bucks. Eight. They got that part down. Yeah, well, it doesn't hurt to remind. <laughs> yeah, they know. 718 95th Avenue North, Naples, Florida, 34108. Roy T. Hazy, H A A S E. That'd be wonderful. And for what, an extra 10 bucks, they'll get a hug on the beach when they're out here? <laughs> uh, those, those are. Well, that, I, I pay for those. Oh, that's you pay for the hugs. Okay. <laughs> well. Yeah, I oh, got gosh. I got uh, quite a few responses already, so I think we're definitely yeah, going to press. You're doing good. You're definitely be I going, see is, going to press. Let's so. see if anybody wants to ask you any questions here. I think maybe we'll flip it around here real quick. Give I like you, questions. Give you, some, give you some FaceTime here. Give you five minutes here. Questions and answers. Here you go. That's long enough for me to read them, though. Yeah, they go by pretty quick. Just make sure you get that pointing at your mug there. Well, what does it say? I don't have my glasses on. Uh -oh. Good morning from Pennsylvania. Hi, good morning, Judy. Ah, oh, good morning, Roy. What is the bravest thing you have done in your life? The bravest thing? Well, I've done a lot of stupid things. I don't know how brave. I had to be brave to to get uh, uninvolved in the stupid things. I I went, uh, I dropped into a spring one time. Where it was kind of covered over, but there was a little hole in the in the roof thing, and you could drop through the hole into the spring. And I and I um, had a little pond down in there, and I swam. And then there was a little. Um, Oh, a little tunnel like out of this pond, and I held my breath and I swam into the tunnel and uh, came up in a little spot where I could get a breath where there was a little ceiling on the tunnel and a little air. 
And then I kept going because I thought eventually the tunnel would come out somewhere. But then I wanted to turn around and go back, and by George, I couldn't remember which way I'd come in from. That was the most awful thing ever happened to me because I wasn't sure whether I was going to go into the bowels of the earth or get back where I started from. And But I made a guess, and I held my breath, and I swam like fury, and I finally came up into the spring where I'd started out. You're lucky to be here. You aren't kidding. That reminds me of something else you did. Tell everybody about swimming across the pass. What happened when you swam across Wiggins Pass? Well, that wasn't dangerous. It was just unlawful. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I got a ticket. Yeah. Didn't you get stuck over there in the mangroves or something? You oh, yeah. Tangled in the mangroves. <laughs> yeah, so that was that Some was lifeguard had to come yeah. help you out. Hey, here's some more. Good oh, mornings, right. everybody. Hopefully, I see you in four months. Wonderful. Sandy Smith, did you ever farm? No, never farm. I grew sprouts, though. I farmed on my, my kitchen table. I grew a lot of sprouts. That was fun. Jennifer Ann, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, Jenny. Thank you. Lynn Forrest says, good morning, Roy, from South Dakota. Wow, that's a long ways away. Come on and join us here on the beach. <laughs> Used to go pheasant hunting out in South Dakota. Oh, that was great. Man, those wild fellas. That was delicious. Yeah, they put, they put in the what do you kids think about your book? Well, uh, I think they, I talked to my daughter about it. She thought that was really great. She was excited about it, so that's nice. Ah, Gabby, hi. Thank you. I love, oh, all those hearts. When is your birthday? December 20th, 1924. <laughs> hi, Gloria. Do you enjoy your chocolate? Oh, yeah, yeah, I sure do. Thank you, thank you. You brought me some good chocolate chippers. Good morning from Canada. Hi, Linda. Good morning. Good morning. Lynn Foster. I am among, about to move to Florida. Good idea. I moved from Wisconsin. Never regret it. Love it down there. Oh, Wisconsin's beautiful, too. Nice to get back and say hello. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. It's just glorious. <laughs> just glorious. Oh, life is glorious. No question about it. Hey, Rob, we're running out of questions here. We're all set. I got, oh, here's a new one, Sandy Smith. Who do you want to win the Kentucky Derby? Uh, well, I'm going to watch the Derby, but I don't know don't the name any, of the horses. You don't know the horses in it? All right. Let me get it back out of the selfie here. <laughs> Kentucky Derby. That's going to be 6 o'clock tomorrow, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's a little after 6, yep, tomorrow. On Saturday, huh? Yep. Ah, that should be good. Yep. Hey, I'm going out to dinner Saturday night. Maybe they'll watch on their TV then. Oh yeah, where are you going? Oh, Ben and Monica invited me out, the, the couple from Switzerland. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't know where you're going yet? No, I don't know whether it's in their home or, or they're going out or something, but they said they'd pick me up at five o'clock. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it should be a good time. Yeah, they come all, all the way from Zurich, Switzerland. Well, he's a world traveler. They travel around the whole world. Yeah, nice people. Yeah. Nice people. Yeah, very friendly, very nice. All right. So you going to get your PayPal account open today? Well, I'm going to work on that. I hope I do the right thing. So. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. I'm going to give you my card to give to Linda, okay? I'll uh -huh. give you my card with my email on it so she can email me if she's got any questions. Okay. Well, uh, she we was can, just we on can, the beach here a few minutes ago. Yeah, they're yeah. down. They're up the beach. But yeah. they, but you can, uh, you can start with a free account for right now. You don't even need to pay. Just see how it works. See if yeah, she it, said it was all free. It's not. Only, there, it's limited. But you might as well just start with the free one. Okay, what happens then? Later on they charge you? Well, if you start making a ton of money, yeah. <laughs> They want to make some money too. That's how business well, I works. I can't blame them for that. What yeah. do they charge? It's a very, very small percentage. Oh, okay. Very small. Okay. So yeah, but I think taking the credit cards is a is a wise move. People are more apt to use their credit card than to write a check or. So they use the credit card for PayPal, huh? Yep. Okay. I mean, you're gonna set yours. You're you'll put your bank card number in there and your bank account. They gave you a card at the bank, right? Did you get a card? Well, I don't have it yet. You mean a debit card? Yeah. I will have. They're printing it up now. What bank did you go to? 
I went to Chase. Oh. Right up here on the corner. They're really good. I got a free... That was a mistake. I don't know why you didn't go to the bank I told you to go to. Because this is so convenient, and I got a free everything because I yeah, got a veteran's, well, free at the other one veteran's too. account. So it worked out really well. Yeah. Really well. That's very handy, right? At so the you end got there. free mobile banking and everything? You don't even have to go? Free. I even got a free... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A safety box or something? If I well, I'm one. sorry you didn't go where I told you. I went and had that all arranged for you. I wish you would have listened to me, but well, it's it kind of inconvenient to get there. I you mean, don't I, have to go to the bank I went, anymore. I went to the main post office, and it was such a go round to get there. <laughs> and this other bank was kind of the same situation, so I, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I figured it's much. Hey, this is so handy right on the corner because I'm down here anyway. I can whiz in there. On there the way you go. home anytime. Whiz. <laughs> so that works out really well. All right. Well. well, anything else you want to add? Well, you want, just, want to tell people where to send their money one more time? <laughs> well, if it's, if it's necessary, 718 95th Avenue North, Naples, Florida, 34108. Roy T. Hazy. You got it. And uh, I, the, the book is definitely going to go to publication. In fact, I got uh, Sandy is typing it up right now to mm. send to the printers so um we're i got enough dough in already to 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 uh go ahead with pub that's great how many you gonna printing. start out with well you mean how many am i gonna order yeah well we'll have to see how things come in i don't think i'll i'll, I'll order a hundred thousand right off the no? bat i'll take it a little more in, in stages they don't have a minimum <laughs> they don't have like 50 or 100 or something to start? Well, I'm, I'm probably going to order 500 to begin 500? with to get a better price on the book. Uh, there you uh, go. 100 is a little pricey. So um, You say you found some, some more of those other little ones? Yeah, yeah. I, I looked in my drawer and by George here were some more of those. And it's a good book. It's, it's really, I've got 30, 30 illustrations. I had a really good artist. This I did in California on the West Coast. Must have been 50 years ago, and I had a really good artist. And there's there's 30 pictures in there. All and the faces. Yeah, happy is the name, title of it is happiness or hardship, your choice. <laughs> and uh, there are the pictures, of all the different uh, uh, attitudes and uh, how yeah. how the, how the positive changes, or the minus, yeah. uh, how how your face looks. <laughs> Quite interesting, and well. a bunch of good sayings. So I'll throw that book in on the first uh, 50. I found you some more. You think you got so 50 of them? I, I, right. I, well, I'll have to check. It. It's going to be close to that. And so the first 50, I'll throw that extra right. book in. And then if it's really uh, down the road, maybe I could get that book reprinted if it's, uh, you know, something people really like. So I could maybe toss that in later on just yeah. regularly no, you never know so we'll see what happens get, people get more yeah. for their money that might be you got nice. a fan club back here waiting there roy <laughs> I don't know who's there. your fan club some roy. just, hey, just hey, hi Jan there. johnson how are you this is roy's favorite part of the day oh, right here getting a hug oh, so how are you oh, there, roy well? Okay. You're so lucky. Oh, so nice to oh see you. it's my birthday Boy, today. What a oh, shirt. did Isn't you hear that? Hap and my Roy. Said, what Happy you? birthday. <laughs> there you hey, go. How are you doing, you man? Good. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Sweet. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, dear. Patty. Patty. <laughs> nice. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh, oh you. you're looking lovely. We Look love at you. you. That was her choice this morning. She got up. I said, what do you oh, want to do? Oh, that is so beautiful. beautiful. I want to go see Roy. Beach. That is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. So. Don't you look lovely? I like Roy, I'm going to let you shirt. leave you all alone. Yeah. Happy birthday, Patty. Thank you. It's nice Good talking you. to you. Yep. Yep. Good cheer. Oh. Yeah. Well, anyway, beautiful. Isn't it fabulous? That was so sweet. She chose to come out here for her birthday morning to see Roy. I don't blame her. Well, gorgeous morning. Beautiful, beautiful clear water. Beautiful blue skies. The dead fish have been cleaned up off the beach. Getting back into the groove here. Back to paradise in North Naples.
Give you one quick, one more look at that water before signing off. Look at that. If you're wondering about red tide, there's your answer. No red tide. Beautiful, clear, warm water. Look at the contour of the, the beach that it's taking here. Can you see that? Those little waves, the ripples. That's so neat. Well, hey, have a great Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Kentucky Derby Day tomorrow. If you're in town, come say hi to us. We'll be out at Felipe's. Look for the non-stop Naples tent at Felipe's out in the parking lot. Huge Cinco de Mayo celebration going on at Felipe's in North Naples all day tomorrow. Five bands. It's going to be a blast. Great music, great food, great people. This pelican coming right at us. Boom. Those pelicans are so neat to watch. Well, again, thanks for watching. Be sure to tell all your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time. Check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. When you find something you like, hit the share button, hit the like button. Hey, have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.